We're on the 900 block of East Westmoreland Street. Uh, back in January, there had been uh, there was a fire uh, that was set by by drug dealers to send a pretty clear message. Uh, fortunately, now all these months later, uh, we're in a position where we were able to acquire this property, rehab it, and uh, on Saturday we're going to be having an open house where we're going to sell it, uh, ideally to an owner-occupied family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a break. Thanks, guys. Oh, it looks good. It looks good. So, James did a pretty good job on it. So. He's done a lot for the neighborhood. I live in 923 East Westmoreland, and um, I've been living there 15 years, and it's, there's been a lot of changes going on as of the 15 years I've been there. And it's been a good progress. There are absolutely fantastic people here that are, are in a situation where many outside forces are guaranteeing that they have uh, a higher risk of, of violence. It was gunplay, it was shooting. Now that this is around, now that it's around here, ain't really nothing. Like, everything changed. He changed his whole neighborhood. Like, he is no, it's not a lot of cops out here or nothing. Well, being very stubborn, we've managed to find the pieces of the puzzle that are most likely the cause of some of the most significant issues in this neighborhood. And, and now that we can go to, to bigger folks like licensing inspections, to our, our councilwoman, to Senator Bob Casey, and to say, these are the sort of things that are happening in our neighborhood, and they're systemic, but they're fixable. And it's the kind of thing that if we can make little hacks to the system, that we can have a really positive effect on this neighborhood and neighborhoods just like it.